Hi, Vinny Lavorti here at Tech Support Enabling Devices. Today I'd like to talk to you about one of our new items, the iPad Wireless 2 switch number 1167. So let's get started. The iPad Wireless 2 switch is a Bluetooth interface to connect to your any generation iPad. It has two switch outputs and that will be supported by apps that are switch switch friendly up either one or two switch apps. I have a switch friendly app here and I'm going to start that up and show you how this works with the iPad. First thing we need to do is get to our app. And every app is going to be a little different. So we go into your settings and you have to enable switch support. I'm using the red switch plate and it's actually scanning to choices. We'll do a song. One little man in a flying saucer flew around the world one day. So if <clears throat> this app actually indicates that you need to move to the next. So if I hit my switch again, it'll move to the next part. So we have a different app here, which supports actually two switches. So open your app, you have to go into your switch settings, and then you can have it set for one or two switches. So we have it set for two switches. Each time I hit my red switch, it's going to scan or move path to each selection and my yellow switch is actually going to play the message or the emotion. Brings this to a new screen and then I can choose which which I would like to use. So use the uh, red switch again. So we're going to pick laughing. Okay, now that we showed you how it works with either one or two switch access apps, uh, one of the other features I wanted to show you is that um, not only the built-in switches work, but if you have a user that can't use one of these type switches, maybe they need a head switch or a sip and puff type switch, you do have two ports here in the front that mimic what these two switches doing here. Right now I have a textured, a big textured oval switch, and I'm just going to plug it in to the switch jack one and these are marked here on the bottom. They're marked what, what switches they are, but you know, they're right next to each other. This is one and this is number two. So every time I hit this textured switch, it's going to go past the choices. If I switch it over to the jack two, it's gonna do what this switch would do. It's actually gonna play the emotion. One of the last features I wanted to point out that the interface can do is it also works as a capability switch. So you can use this with any regular adapted or switch enabled uh, toy or device. It actually works as two switches. So you actually get two regular switches out of this as well as, not, as, well as being an interface, which is really good. Um, we give you two cords. They're the 1 8 inch to 1 8 inch size cords. And if you need to use this as a switch, again, you just plug in your switch here. And both, both sides do work as switches. I just have a little switch adapted volcano here. I'm just going to show you. OK, it works either on that side, or we can move it over here and plug it into the other jack. Another thing I want to point out is when you're using it as a switch, you do not need to have this powered up. You want to have that turned off if you're using it just for switch use. There's no need to have the power for the switch portion. So now let's take a look at how to sync your iPad with the iPad Wireless 2 switch. The iPad Wireless 2 switch is a Bluetooth interface to connect to your any generation iPad. First thing we're going to do is we need to pair the 
iPad wireless 2 switch with the iPad. Now you only need to do this once unless you want to unpair this device or re-enable it. But to get that to do that, first thing you need to do is go into your iPad settings. Once you're in general, go to Bluetooth. Make sure you turn your Bluetooth on. Now the Bluetooth is on and it's in discoverable mode. What you want to do now with your um, iPad Wireless 2 switch is you want to turn this on and turn it into discovery mode so we can sync it up. This is your power button. What you want to do is you want to press this down and hold it until this light turns green and starts flashing rapidly which should take about a second. As soon as you do that, in about a few seconds you'll see an enabling with a bunch of numbers behind it. That's this device and it says not paired. So if you tap on it, it'll take about a second or so and once it's paired, it'll let you know that it is now paired. Now it's connected. So now we're connected with the iPad. If for some reason you wanted to delete it, you could hit forget this device and then it will have to be repaired. But we're not doing that. So we're done here. We can close this out. The most important thing you want to re always remember when you're done using the wireless two switch interface here is you want to power the unit down. You do not want to leave this on overnight. It will drain the batteries down eventually. And if you leave it for a prolonged period of time with the batteries completely drained, you will shorten the lifespan of the built-in rechargeable battery that you cannot change or remove. So what you want to do here is you want to hold the red button down until the light flashes red here. It'll flash three times and then it will shut off. And you just want to keep, just check it for a couple of seconds, make sure it's not intermittently flashing. When you, again, when you power it down, it's going to wait till it flashes three times quickly in red, and that means it's powering down, and then you're fine. And again, when you're using it as a capability switch, you don't need to have this on at all. You can just use it as a regular switch, and only need, you only need the power when you're using it with the iPad. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video. It's the iPad Wireless 2 switch number 1167. You can purchase this item through our website at enablingdevices.com, through our phone sales at 1-800-832-8697, and through our catalog. Once again, Vinny Lavodi here of Tech. Hope you enjoyed the video, and thanks for stopping by.